Hey there, welcome to another Linux vlog. Dual booting our Windows PC can be beneficial for us. Booting into your Linux partition can add more functionality, security and most of all, life to your computer. How many have we seen a computer that struggles to run Windows 10 but runs a Linux operating system very well? Sad to say, Windows operating system doesn't like other operating systems. So if we are dual booting with Windows, we are going to have a problem. As soon as a Windows update happens while we are dual booting, Windows will take over the bootloader and will not allow us to boot into our Linux operating system anymore. This may not happen all the time but, in the event that this happens, what should we do? This video will show you how to fix your bootloader. You will be surprised how easy it is. In this example, we are dual booting Windows with MX Linux. Again we are using a virtual box here to capture the whole process, but the actual process works the same. This video will show you two simple methods of fixing your bootloader. Each method work as good as the other. Now that we are in Windows, we are going to force an update to see what will happen after. As you can see, as we start our machine, there are no options anymore. The computer boots directly to Windows. Because the update fixed the master boot record of your computer and Windows doesn't want you to use any other operating system in your computer. It's designed that way. Luckily, we have EasyBCD. EasyBCD can be purchased but there is a free version. Let's head over to the EasyBCD's official website. For this example, we are going to download the free version. Download EasyBCD and install. Then we will add a boot entry. Follow along and feel free to pause the video to catch up.
After we finish adding, restart the computer. There you have it. We can now get into our MX Linux operating system again. Easy right? For the second method, all we need is an MX Linux Live USB. An MX Linux ISO, flashed into a USB drive. Plug it into your computer, and boot from it. Once you are in the live environment, press Windows key. In the search box type, Boot Repair. Select MX Boot Repair to start it. Select the option that says Reinstall Grub. Then in Root, select the partition where your Linux operating system is installed. After the reinstallation of Grub, restart. When prompted, remove your USB drive. There we have it. We can now dual boot again with our computer. Do you have a better way of fixing a PC's bootloader? Let Jay know by commenting below. This is Jay's robot voice assistant asking you to like, share, and subscribe. We will see you guys, whoever you are watching these videos, on the next video.